So earlier today, news broke out that James McCann is signed with the New York Mets. I actually pointed out in my video of why the Mets will be baseball's next dynasty that McCann might be a better fit for the Mets at catcher than JT Riumunto. And as always, please like and subscribe and tell me your guys' thoughts on the signing in, of, in the comments section below. McCann was drafted by the Detroit Tigers in the second round of the 2011 draft of the University of Arkansas. McCann made his debut in 2014 as a September call-up. From 2015 to 2018, McCann struggled, putting up a 240 batting average, a 694 OPS, and a 76 OPS plus, and 368 hits. After the 2018 season, McCann was non-tendered by the Detroit Tigers. He quickly found a spot with the White Sox where he put up an all-star season in 2019. The White Sox signed Yasmani Grandal before the 2020 season, making McCann a backup. During his two years with the White Sox, McCann put up a very solid 276 batting average, an 808 OPS, and a 114 OPS+. Plus. In five seasons with the Tigers, McCann had a 2.2 wins above replacement. Since then, in only 149 games, McCann has put up five wins above replacement. McCann drew a lot of attention from other teams because of the weak catcher mar market this offseason. With JT Real Muto being the best catcher this offseason and McCann being number two, there was a steep contrast between the other catchers. However, McCann's production over the last two years has been almost identical to Real Muto's. McCann has a 334 on base percentage, a 474 slugging, and an 808 OPS over the past two years. Compared to Real Muto, who has a 333 on base percentage, a 492 slugging, and an 825 OPS. The Mets arguably got someone who produces like Rio Muto without paying the cost. With the McCann signing, this continues the trend of Steve Cohen being adamant on spending money this offseason. While the only other major league signings by the Mets has been Trevor May, the Mets are rumored to be on multiple free agents including George Springer, Trevor Bauer, Jake Odorizzi, and Liam Hendricks. This helps a great need that the Mets had as they had no starting catcher. McCann has been a stellar defender too, so he's an all-around great catcher. For the next four years, I expect McCann to be a very reliable catcher for the Mets as they gear up for a playoff run. I fully expect the Mets to continue to sign premium free agents as they try to contend for the playoffs. With an already great core, the Mets have a very solid team. The depth, the depth chart at catcher is very thin for the Mets, but they have their number two overall prospect in Francisco Alvarez, who is only 19 years old. McCann will be a great stopgap and be able to mentor the young Alvarez. The Mets were able to get a very solid catcher who plays like Rio Muto, but they did not give up much money. With the money that they saved, they could use it to spend it on someone like George Springer or Trevor Bauer. McCann was able to use two solid seasons that he had to make himself $40 million. This is great for someone who only two years ago was non-tendered by the rebuilding Tigers. I expect McCann to put up a very solid season in 2021. Please tell me your guys' thoughts on this signing in the comment section below. If you've joined this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks.